Okay, welcome. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, an easy way to connect a BC453 to a uh, BC348 or um, similar receivers. Um, the tuning range of the BC453, also known as the Q fiber uh, because of its fine selectivity. Um, and as I said, that, that tunes up to 550 kilohertz. The 348 IF uh, frequency is um, 915 kilohertz. So uh, I was reading reading about um, how to connect these two together, and uh, as you probably know, there's uh, there's a lot of different um, different ways to do this. Um, crystal converters, free running oscillators, mixer tubes. Uh, I was uh, thinking of using a a um, solid state device, a N uh, uh, NE six o two, but um, then I got the this really nice, really simple uh, tip from a from a Swedish ham, uh, Sugar Mike Zero Alpha Oscar Mike. This very helpful um, when it comes to uh, like this World War Two, early fifties uh, receivers and such. Um, he referred to a article fr from uh, the Swedish QST magazine. Uh, mid 50s uh, article um, and here you can see all you all you really need to connect the 348 to the 453 uh, it's a tuned circuit for 915 kilohertz uh, 100 micro henrys and uh, about 300 uh, picofarad uh, capacitance across uh, the in inductor one end goes to ground, and uh, you can see the green clip lead coming from the mm, from the IF chain um, that's uh, clipped onto the third IF uh, transformer lead, and um, the other um, that that goes uh, onto the um, 453 IF transformer. No, sorry, the 453 mixer tube. Uh, you can see, you probably see that I've removed the original uh, clip there and just clip lead it uh, uh, to here. Oops. And uh, let's see if there's any stations there. Yeah, very nice. I should show you that I'm tuning the 453 or I'm tuning across the uh, BC three forty eight IF. And as you can hear, it's uh, working really nice. Um, I'm going to show you how it sounds with the BC348. And for that I'm going to turn on the um, beat oscillator. Because uh, otherwise it'll sound really loud. Right. Okay, these are fairly strong signals, but uh, you can. Uh, this makes a, the world of difference when there's weak signals. Um, 
the audio output uh, output from the 453 isn't too much to brag about but um, I'm currently only using uh, 50 volts DC for the B plus I haven't made a power supply for this one yet but um, it's still working very nice as you can hear you can hear the uh, signals on the in the back there turn on the oscillator be it oscillator and uh, plug in this one and there you go all you really need is a it's a coil and a capacitor. No need uh, to hack any any receiver or make any modifications uh, to your nice receivers. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, hope to work you uh, maybe on 40 meters. Now I can venture into 40 meters <laughs> with this setup. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.